Guys, we're back. We're going to do the left side Willie G grip. As you've seen on the last video, we did the right side. Somehow my camera got shut off, so we're going to have to do a two-part video. But anyway, now we're going to do the left side. And it's going to be a little different for me than probably will from you guys because we, we were using a T25 on this side, which we will use still. Over here, I believe I, it might be a different side, actually, to be honest with you. So, nope, it's the same. But on the clutch master cylinder, we're going to have to use an Allen wrench because I have the aftermarket controls for the radio. So, sitting up here so I don't have to reach down to the radio. So, Let's go ahead and take a, go ahead and take a, this cover off. That rain's coming down today. Well, we had some really nice weather up. Looks like after today, it's not going to be so nice anymore, so. We did do a test run out on the bike with the camera that we do have to uh, do a ride, log, and yeah, I didn't like the way it looked, so we're going to have to wait till we get some better equipment before we uh, start doing that, and we'll... We'll have it. We'll have it definitely before spring comes. So, don't worry about that. We will get there. Comes off same same as it did on the other side. And this is the left side because you know in the last video we did the right side. So we're on the left side. So now we have to take off the mash cylinder. And remember. I told you on the last video, make sure you have something protecting your bike because things can go crazy. You don't want to drop anything on your paint or chrome or anywhere. Well, like I've mentioned many times before, I hate to see the winter come. But I mean, you know, some people like the seasons, you know, the different seasons and all that. I'm sorry, I dropped something, so I'll make sure I pick it up. Make sure I know where that came from. Oh, okay, that was a spacer here. There's spacers on there, so you don't want to lose those. That would not be good. Like I said in the last video, I mean, you almost need a second pair of hands, but you can get it done. Just got to be a little more careful about it. Well, I, like I told you guys in the prior video, I'm a mechanic. Most of my adult life, that's what I did for a living. And automotive mechanic. But I don't particularly care to work on motorcycles. Alright. We got that off. You just don't want to yank anything off without really looking at what you got going on because that would not be good. So we got it. Push that over. Now some people say these slide right off and they might be glued from the factory. So if they are, we're going to have to take a razor knife and that's what it looks like to me. It's definitely glued on. Some people recommend you glue them back on, some people recommend you don't. But let's 
I'll be right back with you. I'm going to come over here and see if I can find a utility knife. And we'll get that cut off. Hopefully don't cut ourselves. You know, I'd rather not cut it. I don't have to. But, unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to have to, so. Go ahead and get this cut off. I could have fought with it. Well, it's definitely glued on, but we're not going to do that. These old rubber grips. There's no point. It's pretty glued. It's, it's, it's really glued. That would have been a hell of a fight. Work with it. Try not to cut yourself. You need my luck. That's what I do. Well, they really glued this one. Cut around it. I think somebody overdid it. But that's all right. Definitely didn't want it to come off. So we got that off. Sit that right there. Put our knife right there. We're probably going to have to shave a little bit of that off. So we get our other grip to go on there. So we'll shave that off. coming down. I don't know if you guys can. But it's coming down. I guess it's a good thing. Just a few days ago, I was having alerts about fires. It's so dry. It's been so dry. I wish it was that way in the summertime. <laughs> but often that's not the case. See how we're doing here. There we go. Easy. Put this on there. Alright, so there is a spot here where you can see it. I, I guess I didn't show you guys that. There's a spot. You can see it right here. It's the diameter's more. So you want to make sure that's in the right spot. And we'll figure that one out together. But I think it's going to be more or less about right there. Hopefully we got the right I think we do. It's a matter of working it to where it needs to go, I guess. I think it 
Fighting. Of course, one side goes easy and the other side doesn't. You know how that goes. Gotta watch your switches back here too. You don't want to break those. A little bit delicate. Let me um, pull this a little bit and see if I can figure out what's going on, and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, I'm back with you. It's a little bit of a fight. I, I ain't going to lie to you. But you have to line it up. Let's see if I can bring you in here. You have to line it up to where you have a thick side and a thin side on here and you have to line it up to where your back clamp comes over and just kind of put it you got to put your grip in the spot where you want it where the, where the skull is supposed to be so it's a little bit of a fight but if you play with it you'll get it it's not that hard bear with me another second here And we'll get this side back together. Like I said, I'm not a motorcycle mechanic by any means. Uh, let's do the best I can. So hopefully this all goes back together, right? But it's not looking like it wants to. There we go. There it is. So, you got that. Just like I said, it's all about playing with it and getting in the sweet spot. So, I think we got our sweet spot there. I'm going to rise this up a little bit. Make sure we're in the right spot where we want to be. I should turn the handlebar. Sorry about that. And where do we want to be here? I think we're somewhere about like that. I don't think that side went up that high, but it probably does. So let's see if we can get this a little bit snug. Do a serious tight down on it until we get it. Make sure we got everything the way it's supposed to be. And you got to make sure you get this grip all the way up on there. I did not glue it. I don't think it was necessary to glue it because this is all going to clamp down and hold that position anyway. So I think we'll be all right there. Um, Down here. Make sure we go back in the spot we're supposed to go back in. Looks good. Looks good. All right. 
So get your wires down here. Bring back up your mirror and your clutch. Master cylinder. Our wires or anything or clamping down on them just be sure you don't clamp down on your wires definitely don't want to do that radio controls back up here and of course like I said it's almost like you'll need an extra pair of hands when you're doing this. So just gotta take our time and be patient and work with it. Spacers in there. Our other spacer. Get down there. There we go. Make sure we don't strip anything out or cross thread anything as we're going in. Definitely don't want to do that. I do it with by hand. And then you know you got start on it. So looking good so I'll go ahead and tighten that all up but that's basically it basically how you put on your grips it's not that difficult just be patient with it work with it um, like I said they say you should glue that other side on but uh, I don't think that's necessary I think the clamp and everything will hold it down well, I appreciate you guys watching um, We'll have some more stuff coming up. Maybe do some vlogs and and try to do some vlogs. I don't think the weather's going to change, though. I think it's going to stay cold from here on out. But we'll have more stuff coming up. Uh, i got to clean the bike up because I did have it out yesterday. So I have to clean it up. It was a nice ride, though. I did enjoy it. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this uh, buttoned up. And just get everything tightened up. And they look pretty good. I'm impressed with them. Good quality, of course, Willie G. They look really good. So I hope I'll be seeing you guys soon on the next video, and we'll get into something else. See what other kind of trouble we can get into. You guys have a great day.